Hi, and welcome back to another episode of the History of Fan Anime. I'm your host, William Chow, and in today's episode, we're going to do another uh, uh, episode where I go through the uh, my list, uh, anime list, and uh, the year I'm going to do is 1985. Now, 1985 is a really significant year, um, and I'll get into that. Um, first of all, I'm just going to remind everyone again, um, when I go down below, click like and click subscribe. And again, um, the new thing you do have to do is you have to go and uh, click notifications because, of course, YouTube is going to recommend any new my videos, so you'll have to use the notifications for them to actually physically tell you that I've put out new videos, all right? Uh, and I got a lot of good things that's going on, so if they, again, I've um, you know, got, got a promo going on for um, you know, uh, hitting a thousand subscribers. Again, you check that out. I still got some good stuff left, you know, going. And still a lot, of, you know, convention stuff that I, that I got from the conventions, like uh, Anime Expo and uh, Comic Con. Um, again, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, uh, you know, try to get, you know, try to get into that. Check that episode below. And also, um, uh, you know, I've, I've added more episodes to my database. So again, if you want to go back and check some of the uh, older episodes, and uh, I'll be adding more episodes to that list. Um, as we go on, okay, but so here we go. Uh, do remember to do that if you haven't subscribed, please go up below and, and do that, all right? So, um, back to the topic, yes, we are now going to 1985. Now, 1985 is a really kind of a special year, okay? First of all, um, you know, uh, in the scheme of things, this is sort of the first year that really OEVAs sort of really took, o uh, took off, okay? There's a large number of them. Um, more of them sort of came out, um, and uh, it's also a year that, uh, you know, a lot of people think that that's where the sort of the start of things are. Now, for myself, um, 1985 is my grad year, okay, so I'm right now going through grade 12, I'll graduate this year, um, and, uh, you know, at this time, I'm still in this really, really tiny little town called Prince George, less than 100,000 people. So I have no concept of what Japanese animation is. Now, you may want to ask you, well, why would you know any of this stuff right now? Okay, okay. I'll get into time dilation and, you know, the, you know, so, so, so say the, 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 the lag time between actual Japanese stuff getting released in Japan as to when we actually get it over here and when and why and, and uh, how would I know that this stuff is what was, you know, the, the, the stuff that was popular, obviously. I'll show you all that kind of stuff. In another episode because that's not what we're going to talk about in this episode okay so hit subscribe and hit notifications on because i gotta get to those episodes to explain that all right so so here i am in basically grade 12 um you know grad year again i, I had no no concept of really what I, you know japanese animation is i mean i'll i'll watch like captain harlock on the french channel which is under the name albatura and um you know i you know it never can't dawned on me that you know a pirate ship floating in space is like a normal thing, right? Or that's you know that's an anime thing, or you know I maybe maybe caught an episode of like Star Blazers and the same thing, you know. Didn't like I mean I, I was at that time a really big uh, you know war freak, so I liked reading lots of novels and books about uh, you know the battles of uh, Midway and uh, you know Letty Golf and things like that. Uh, I, you know, I read a lot of stuff about uh you know the battle of the bulge one of, one of my you know I, I played a lot of games um on the apple II computer from like ssi and ssg you know so that, that's a lot of the you know uh the st strategic stimulation type games and also hex grid type games i mean my favorite board games at that time were like uh panzer blitz you know um you know which is a very you know, very you know tedious hex gridded you know board game but I just love playing that kind of stuff. And so, you know, it never dawned on me that, yes, the Yamato is, you know, the, you know, a, a Japanese battleship. You know, it never dawned on me that this is Japanese animation, you know. And it also never dawned on me that, you know, it's perfectly normal for a seagoing battleship to be floating out in space. Okay. So all these concepts were just like, you know, it was just, you know, above me. I was just watching it because it's animated and, you know, it was on TV and, you know, great, right? Whatever, right? So again, at this time, I'm not familiar with the concept of what anime is, but what's going on in Japan was very uh, significant and very uh, you know important. Okay, to uh, you know the, some of the changes that was going on with anime at this time. So I'm going to go through 
1995 in a you know sort of a slower fashion because again there's a lot of titles in here and a lot of significant titles okay in here again at the end I will tell you uh, my suggestions and that kind of recommendations for this uh, year uh, so that again uh, if you're you know catching up with uh, some things that you need sort of like you know what should I watch sort of idea like what uh, are the key things that you should you know, take out of this particular year you know you'll catch that at the end of the video and, and my recommendations for that right so let's get ready let's begin Okay, so we start off with Winter 1985. There's really nothing new on the new TV series. There's a, a lot of old continuing series. I'm not going to go over them because uh, we went over them in 1984. Go and check the uh, my previous video for the go into more detail on that. But what's more important is the OEVAs. Now, we've got a lot of OEVAs that came out during this time, okay? A lot more than the, the previous year. Uh, Megazone 23, that's a big one. You know, that's one of the uh, Happy Console Gamers, one of my favorite animes. And, uh, you know, again, there's a very key anime for a lot of people who got started in anime. So, yeah, again, uh, Megazone 23. We got Area 88, which, again, really came out uh, early and, and really had a big splash in the uh, comic book uh, industry there. So that, that was a, a good start for a lot of people in that. Um, uh, Yoko Leda. I remember I was just chasing after that OEVA for a while, and that was pretty cool. Uh, a lot of people had that, uh, you know, that sort of uh, anime because it was a nice fantasy sort of story. Uh, Nora, um, also based, uh, it kicked off the comic book manga series of the same sort of name, which I think uh, Crusher Joe and things of that kind of came out of. Uh, again, pretty, uh, you know, um, kind of, a, you know, not as well known, but uh, people still had lots of it. Uh, Greed is another one that uh, that showed up on a lot of trading lists as well. Uh, you know, again, just, uh, you know, those sort of off OEVA titles. Um, that, that, that was there. Uh, Vifam, the OEVA series, so again, based off of the TV series. So, in the end, you know, the you know, back to the kids operating mecha kind of shows. Um, so, more more uh, continuation of those uh, type of series. Again, very, very significant, uh, you know, um, as to show that, uh, you know, this sort of, you know, mecha with kids and robot type shows, um, you know, started before 85, but again, the OEVA has carried on. And uh, what else we carry on here? We also have the Orgus Memorial. So this is again, um, you know, it's a continuation, sort of the best of collection from the uh, TV series Orgus. Okay. Now, what big movies are there? Okay. Well, we can see by the by the movies list here. We got the third Uruzatsuru movie, Remember My Love. So again, that's really, again really popular for those people who love uh, Uruzatsuru. And again, you know, that's you know, Ta Rumiko Takahashi, really big long series. Now, this is another really big movie, uh, Dagger of Kamui, okay? Um, you know, at this time, there weren't a lot of, like, you know, said, uh, the little samurai, you know, ninja-type stories, and so Dagger of Kamui was one of those uh, stories that really came out uh, at this time, and very prolific type of movie. Okay, next one is uh, Bobby's. Now, this one is just one of those, you know, pretty much forgettable, you know, uh, romance-type stories. Um, you know, not very notable. Um... Uh, Way to Virgin Space. Uh, very few people knew what that is. I mean, I, I, I came across it in just passing, and um, so yeah, that was you know not a very popular series in that indeed. And right at the very end is uh, Sengoshi, which is basically you know Legend of the Three Kingdoms um, uh, story. Um, again, very few people had uh, uh, even you know even any of the parts of this sort of series. Uh, so you know again. Uh, very, very hard to obtain uh, this particular uh, anime. Okay, so that basically sort of uh, sums up the first quarter. So now we go into the spring. Now, spring has a lot of good titles right away. So we see that uh, the, you know, the mobile suit Zeta Gundam. So the finally, the long-awaited continuation for the original mobile suit Gundam series, Zeta Gundam, comes out. And again, uh, very, very popular. I mean, I, got, I remember I, got, I really got into that series. Um, what else we got here? The next one is Touch, um, you know, baseball love story. Um, you know, uh, I touched that series. Really lot. I didn't really like that one, um, but uh, this one I loved. Uh, you know, God bless Dan Cougar or, or the, 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 you know, the machine beast uh, God uh, Dan Cougar. Uh, well, I really like that series because it's one of the one where the aliens, you know, bully the Earth, and then you know, the only thing that can save Earth is this, you know, big mecha machine that uh, Japan makes. And uh, you know that's really good. So, 
Anyway, so those are the new TV series that came out. Again, we'll continue over the uh, existing TV series that already happened. And uh, so we go on to the OEVAs. And again, right away, we have the Creamy Mommy Long Goodbye OEVA. Um, a surprising number of people that, you know, had this. I mean, th you know, this not, you know, we haven't really hit the Magical Girl era yet, but uh, it was still very, very popular. Um, we have the, the more of the Votums OEVA series, you know. Uh, again, Votums was uh, another one of these you know, prolific type of series that, that happened earlier. Uh, and uh, so now they made some more OVAs, uh, you know, portraying that. Okay, now this one here, the nice movie, Time a Stranger. Uh, again, this was another really popular movie that, that a lot of people actually had copies of and uh, was in fairly good uh, circulation. Uh, let's see, Delos Special. Uh, again, this is a, a special that was sort of based off of the TV series of the same name, you know. Not a huge, uh, you know, uh, well-known series or anything like that. Uh, you know, the, the odd person had that particular series, so that was all right. Okay, so we move on to the summer of '85, and right away, the big series is uh, a Dirty Pair, the TV series. So again, uh, you know, a lot of uh, you know a lot of action, really popular people got into that. Magical Emmy, okay, so right off the heels of Creamy Mommy, we have a Magical Emmy, another Magical Girl show that comes out. Uh, that's, uh, so you know, that uh, are, is an, are the new videos that uh, occurred for the summer of 85. And now let's go flip down and let's see what new OVAs are, okay? So again, we get uh, some more of the Uruseratsura OVAs. Okay, so again, they're releasing a whole stream of OVAs and movies that right after their movie uh, t uh, and uh, after their TV series. So that's pretty good. Uh, Bodum's the, uh, the the last red shoulder. Now, in terms of movies, this is probably one of the most significant uh, Bodum movies. So if you don't want, if you if you really want to ignore the TV series, ignore all that kind of stuff, and you just want to get a one shot or sort of deal, take a look at the Bodum's. Uh, no, that was good. Um, Cosmo Police Justy. Oh yeah, I love this. I love the, the, the you know, this is one of the OVA type of you know psychic uh, kind of uh, uh, warrior type of people. But I really love the ending theme song for that. And I even bought the record for that. That was really good. Um, Pandora, okay, or Fandora, I should say. Um, that's another one of these uh, you know magical girls with the sword. That was really good. Uh, the Minky Momo movie. So another uh, magical girl uh, you know uh, kind of movie. Uh, in there, the Genesis climbers of the most speed of love alive and alive. So that's basically your 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 yellow dancer live in concert uh, video kind of thing there. Um, some more uh, uh, Bodo, uh, 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 AT uh, Bodum's uh, OVAs uh, there, and more Vifam. So again, more continuation of a uh, series from the previous years. Uh, now uh, they've uh, compiled them and put them into OVA series, and they're re releasing them again. Okay. So now we're going to movies for this uh, period. Lupin the Third, uh, The Babylon. Okay, so again, you know, in terms of popular movies, Lupin it was a very, very popular uh, TV series. And again, uh, the movies, which are really, uh, you know, which are really well done uh, for Lupin, uh, you might want to catch those ones. Uh, you know, again, the, a very good popular series for that. Okay. Uh, Odin, the Starlight. So again, you know, it's this is another uh, uh, script like uh, you know, very, very a lot of people like uh, you know those space traveling type of shows, Galaxy Express nine nine nine, that type of thing. Uh, so Odin is another one of those you know, style of the movies. Uh, they have the Area eighty eight movie. So basically, uh, uh, you know, those like you know, kind of a movie edition of the uh, of, of the three Area eighty eights put together. Uh, so they re released that into a movie form. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's that's probably all the movies for this uh, particular period. They have uh, some uh, other very specials here, um, but yeah, yeah, it seems to be it for that. Okay, so uh, that ends up. Uh, yeah, so now we get the last part of 1985, which is the fall of 85. So a lot of new viewers come out, and again, another one of my favorite series, SPT Lazenar. So again, another one of these alien forces come, and but this time they they, they mess up, uh, you know, uh, Mars and uh, you know the, the the high tension between the U.S. and the Soviets, really good. Um, uh, Toby Kage, that's another one of those, those very favorite series. Uh, I mean, I when I was collecting that stuff, and like you know, very few people had episodes of Toby Kage, and even the ones I got were like just horrible quality, but we still traded them a lot. Uh, high school Kumagumi. Okay, so that's you know one of your com comical high school type stories, and the artwork on that was just horrible. But you know it was very you know again a lot of people kind of got into that, 
uh, not too many people play episodes of it though, but uh, Gege Gege no Kataro, so again, um, you know, again, very, you know, the artwork on that one is not particularly great either, but uh, for a kids adventure show, you know, that really, you know, it really was probably popular, so. Anyway, so again, we we'll skip over the TV series that already happened. Um, now, yeah, there you go. Angel's Egg, okay? Now, this was a really, really big series, a popular OEVA series, even though that not very many people, um, you know, really knew what had the concept of it, because the reason is because it's made by Mono, the guy who did Vampire Hunter D. So a lot of people who like that artwork, you know, Final Fantasy, that kind of stuff, um, you know, got Angel's Egg because it's more of that kind of, uh, uh, you know, artwork. Okay, uh, very popular title again, uh, Ixir 1. So this is the very first original OVA series for Ixir 1 uh, that came out. You know, almost lesbian-like almost, but you know, that was what the, the, the big selling point of it was. So uh, Dream Hunter Rem, so another sort of magical girl show. Uh, they made a nice three OVA series of that. So that was very Fire Tripper, so more of the uh, Rumika Takahashi uh, things. And again, they made three uh, OVAs for that uh, Rumika uh, world uh, sort of thing. Uh, they made more Dirty Pair OVAs, which or Nolandi Affair, so that, that was more OVAs for uh, uh, Dirty Pair. Kimigoro Orange Road, yeah, okay, they made a, uh, um, you know, a, a jump special for that. Rock Me Nora, so that's kind of a, more of that Nora series that, that I mentioned earlier, except this is sort of like more of a music video kind of form of it, so that was really, you know, again, pretty popular. Um, Bobby stock, yeah, that's another again one of those OVAs that slipped under underneath everything. Very few people had it, and it was you know very very you know low distribution on it, and so no one really knew what that was. Under the movies, um, Vampire Hunter D. Now again, because you know a mono put the you know uh, you know Vampire Hunter D out, uh, very very popular movie, and of course that's where things like uh, Angel's Egg came out of because again he he also put that out more or less at the same time. And of course, uh, well, I mean, I'll, I'll just mention it just here because, like, there is Captain Sabasa J um, was out there, and, and like, you know, I mean, I, I and back in the day, I, I always referred to Soccer Boy, and sure, um, you know, I'm sure soccer in general is probably the most popular worldwide sport, but again, in North America, like, you know, soccer, it probably goes, you know, probably, you know, fifth, sixth, seventh, you know, sport uh, that that uh, that people think of. Um, in the you know in the North American theater, so um, you know so again because because nobody was interested in soccer, you know very few people got episodes of this or distributed copies of this. So you know soccer, um, you know, let alone Japanese soccer, was just just not very popular. Okay, so now um, this is the part you're probably well waiting for. Um, what are my suggestions for this particular year, 1985? Um, so because there's so many tales, I'm going to break it down into different categories now. Um, one for TV, uh, I'm going to give you a list for TV series, uh, one for the OVAs, and one for the movies, okay? So I'll start with the easy one, movies. And for movies, I've got four of them. Um, and the first one, and not in particular, so uh, the first one uh, I'd recommend uh, is the Vampire Hunter D. Again, um, you know, uh, the artwork is done by Amano, uh, you know, and it has good soundtrack as well. And uh, you know, this sort of, for a lot of us, this is sort of the very first sort of uh, vampire type of anime that was out there, and uh, you know, it was you know very well done, you know, and uh, very famous guy. So you know, uh, definitely one to definitely check out. Um, the second one on the list here uh, for this um, year, 1985, would be Dagger of Kamui. Again, uh, this is uh, again uh, first sort of anime that sort of uh, you know got into that um, you know story of ninjas and, and uh, you know samurais and that kind of stuff. So you know um, a lot of people you know really kind of got into this one as being the first one that does that. A good full fo- fo- feature length movie for that, so you know definitely a good one to check out. Um, uh, the other ones are again uh, third one. On this list is going to be uh, Lupin the Third, um, the, the Babylon Project Babylon or Babylon Gold. Uh, this one uh, again, um, if you don't want to watch the you know, the Lupin movie uh, or like like TV series, then you know just just stick with the movies. And this is definitely one of the movies that you want to watch for Lupin uh, if you want to go into that. Um, likewise, 
for number four is Armored Trooper Votum's Red Shoulder. Now, again, I know a lot of people don't really you know, like watching you know Votum's the TV series because they just you know, they aren't work or just the story was just really boring. Um, but if you want, you know, get into just just one Votum's, okay, um, and, and you know, we want to watch just one. Then watch Red Shoulder. Okay, the other one would, would be Mellow Link, the OVA series. But, um, but just you know, in terms of the Votums itself, uh, Red Shoulder would be the, would, would be the only Votums you need to watch if you don't want to watch the rest of the TV series. Okay, so those are the movies I, I recommend. Uh, Vampire D, uh, Dagger Kumui, uh, uh, Lupin the Third, and Votums Red Shoulder. Right. Okay, so now I'll go over to doing the TV series. Okay, so if you want to get a, you know, get into a longer TV series and, and whatnot, um, but uh, you know, want to make sure you you know to grab the most significant ones from 1985, I'll give you four. Okay, uh, probably the first one off the list is uh, Zeta Gundam. So again, you know, the, when Mobile Suit Gundam first came out, that that was the, uh, you know, the very first series. Um, with Amaro and the, the conflict with Char, and then basically, so finally, the long awaited um, conclusion to this um, finally came out. So, Zeta Gundam, that's sort of when I got into the Gundams and that kind of stuff. It was in Zeta Gundam that really pulled me in, and that was really good. Another very famous series is SPT Lazenar. Um, again, uh, you know, again, I saw episodes of this one, really interested me because it had that same sort of theme that Mospita had, where it was. Um, you know, Genesis Climb the Mosquito, where basically the aliens come to the Earth and they're taking over the Earth type of thing. A um, little different intrigue there because they said they had the, you know, the, the, the conflict between, um, you know, the, I guess the U.S. and the and the Soviets and that sort of thing. So, and that, and that was the first part of the series. It, those people who are interested in like, you know, Fist of the North Star and the, and uh, like, or like, you know, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, the second part of the series might be more your kind of thing because it's a more apocalyptic earth and you know all these sort of weird you know hakuno ken mutant guys or whatever the guingui forces or whatever um you know that might be you more your kind of appeal so you know that's why sp laser is, is really good good for that and uh, what's really nice is that it's also all available on youtube so you don't have to go to any weird questionable sites like you know S uh, sakasu dvd or anything like that or any strange um you know bootleggers like that to to get your uh, episode so definitely check that out it is free on youtube uh, number three definitely would be um, uh, the Dirty Pair TV series. Um, again, a, a lot of people got into uh, the Dirty Pair OVAs and that kind of stuff um, and uh, whatnot. But the, the origin of the TV series, uh, you know, came out this year. So again, uh, lots of episodes of the WWA. Definitely something to check out. And the last one I recommend is, of course, my personal favorite. One of my personal favorites is Dan Cougar. Um, Again, you know, I was always a big fan of the big transforming robot. Um, um, you know, a lot of pieces connecting together. That's again, what's probably why I like. Uh, you know, uh, a little bit of double Z uh, Zeta Gundam, but more like double Zeta Gundam is because all the pieces, uh, the fighters and stuff, connected together. Um, so you know, Dan Cougar is definitely one of this. And again, it also has that Genesis Clamor Mosquito feel, which is you know another one of these. The aliens came to the Earth to beat down the Earth, and of course, the only thing that we have to fight back, uh, you know, them is this, you know, Dan Cougar machine that the Japanese have built, you know, um, you know, very, very similar plot line to uh, Macross, for example. Again, um, you know, I, I just really like that. Uh, again, the music was really good. There's a whole bunch of good songs in Dan Cougar uh, that was really, really nice. And so that's, you know, again, that's definitely one of my personal recommendations for. Uh, um, TV series, so definitely. Uh, so for this year, 1985, the four things that you need to check out: Zeta Gundam, Dan Cougar, um, Dirty Pair, and SPT Lasnar. Okay, so the last and not least, it would be the OEVA section. Now, this is the major difference here, is because last year there was only two notable OEVAs that sort of came out, and you know, if I had to make a top list, neither of them would have made the top list at all. Um, all of a sudden now this year we got like a really large number of OEVAs that came out and uh, so much so that you know I would probably would have liked to do a top 10 or at least even a top 8 because there's some you know some notable titles here that you know probably well, you should deserve a good watch 
but I'm gonna not I'm gonna trim it down to only a top six okay so yeah I, I would have loved it to be a top eight because then then I would basically have uh, Yoko Leda and Time is Stranger in the, the top eight but I'm gonna trim it down to the top six um, if you guys have extra time you do check those two OVAs out but um, you know, I'm gonna give you a top six for this particular year and that's just you know because we've all of a sudden jumped from basically two sort of you know pretty forgettable OVAs from 1984 to just a massive number of them even so much so that you know I, I, I even have troubles trying to make a top six for just this year so from the top six for 1985 this is a very um, important year for the, uh, the for the note that OVAs are a major way uh, how to get people into anime and they are very very popular so let's go through them again not in any particular order but do uh, if you have a chance to you know to, to at least try some of these out or you know look them up because these would be the most significant ones and also realize that these are probably the the first OVAs that um, I would say would be uh, in the recommended picks right because usually beforehand it, it has always been movies it has always been sort of TV series um, in the top picks for the year, this is the first time that OVAs are now the you know the the, the videos that people should be watching out of this particular year, and this would be the first set of ones. And again, as I go on um, making more of these videos, you'll probably notice that there's going to be a larger, larger number of OVAs to check out every year. Because I said, uh, like you know, this year I'm making a, a list of six. Maybe in the future, when more and more titles come out. I'm going to have to make it like maybe a top 10 or not. Hey, that's going to be good, good, good for you guys, right? So, let's begin with the list. Uh, right at the top list uh, is going to be uh, Megazone 23. So, again, right off the heels of things like Macross and that stuff, Mickey Moto has uh, really gone out and, and basically you know, created another uh, Mecha Classic. Um, again, if you're really into bikes and that kind of stuff, this sort of futuristic space uh, kind of story, you know, it's a little mystery and that kind of stuff. Uh, do check out Megazone 23. And again, there's many different parts of it with different artists and that kind of stuff, but this one is the first rendition of Megazone 23. So this is part one, all right? Uh, the second one that uh, I recommend would be Area 88, okay? And the only reason I may, I may recommend this is because uh, a, a lot of people kind of got, uh, you know, when, when they're getting into anime and that kind of stuff at this particular time, they were getting it from the comic book stores and they, they, they'd go to the comic book stores and they'd look up stuff and whatnot. And one of the first comics or manga, um, you know, translation, the translations that sort of came out was Area 88. And again, so a lot of people kind of, you know, were really interested in airplanes, you know, and that kind of stuff. Again, Top Gun wasn't quite out yet, but, you know, just working off that, um, you know, Macross feel with all the, you know, the jet fighter planes and that kind of stuff. Uh, a lot of people really like to you know to get into that, so that's why, um, you know, Area 88 probably would be a really popular type of series for a lot of people to get into. <clears throat> the third one is a personal favorite of mine. Uh, it's Cosmo Police Justy, and as I mentioned earlier, I really really like the uh, ending theme song for this for this anime. I mean, you know, the anime itself is a pretty you know action-packed sort of you know, you know pretty good anime in terms of you know. Uh, you know, the you know, superpower kind of hero type of type of shows, and um, you know, uh, but the, but the one thing that really captured me, uh, and again, it got me sort of really interested in Japanese music uh, at, at this early time period, was Cosmo Police Justy, and, and and the BGMs and this stuff are really beautiful too. And I said I actually went through uh, the effort and actually to to not only track down um, you know audio cassette copies of this particular soundtrack, but I actually went out and actually bought the actual record. For this at this particular time, so again, check that one out. Cosmo Police Justy. Uh, the next one is, is again another, another another obvious one. Angel's Egg. Uh, a little harder to find this uh, OVA, but uh, you know it's definitely one to check out because again, Amano made uh, Vampire Hunter D, the, the movie for that you saw earlier. Um, you know he had that movie out this year. He also had this short OVA called Angel's Egg. So again, if you really like his style, if you know you're the big fan of Final Fantasy that kind of stuff, this is definitely something you should check out because again, he does all the artwork and that stuff for this particular um, uh, OVA. Okay, so check that one, Angel's Egg. 
the next one is another one of my first favorite, uh, uh, you know, my personal favorites, and sort of one of my first OVAs that I got encountered with. Um, you know, when I got into the you know, anime uh, a little bit later, um, one of the first OVAs I got exposed to, I got exposed to was um, you know Dangayo and Ixir One. And again, I thought Ixir One was was really strange because it's a really nice crisp anime. I like how the female characters are always drawn. You know, because you know, um, um, Hirano does a lot of really good work with that, with that kind of uh, you know drawings and that kind of stuff. Um, again, I probably didn't really understand the themes behind the anime at that time, but I was just more interested in, in, in just you know the combat sequences and, and just what the anime did with those. That, that was so different than what I was watching with American cartoons, right? So, again, uh, Ixir One was probably the, one of the first this kind of OVA for a lot of people starting out in Japanese animation in North America. So again, um, a very very significant title to, to at least have a. And the last one, of course, in this list, not, uh, but uh, definitely one also check out, is with the onslaught of the new Dirty Pair TV series that came out this year. They also released an OVA for um, the Dirty Pair called the Dirty Pair Nlandia Affair. And again, you know, it's you know, like a extended episode. Has lots of good action. Good, uh, a lot of people, you know, saw this as one of the cores, um, uh, you know, OVAs, you know, to, to check out. Um, and uh, it was very, very popular at conventions and that kind of stuff as well. So do definitely check that one out. Dirty Pair, the Nalandia. Okay, so those are your six um, selections. I mean, it took a little bit to... Uh, I wouldn't say it took a little bit, but I mean, you know, I mean, if I had to go down to a certain number, six would have been, uh, you know, the, the, you know the, 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 the number I'd have to get to before it got really, really hard to make it any smaller. I would have preferred eight, as I said, but... Six um, is a uh, you know comfortable one that I would be happy to stop it at. So the top six: Megazone 23, Area 88, um, Cosmo Police Justy, a uh, Angel's Egg, Ixir One, the first series, and Dirty Pair: The Nolandia Affair. That's your picks for 1985. All right. I hope that was a lot to go through, but uh, you know again I hope it gave you some good suggestions on that and. Do check them out because this is uh, kind of a significant sort of changing over from the older system to the newer system, okay? And uh, this is a very important year for some very significant enemies, right? So, what you get is if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe below and you know, I'll catch you in your next video, alright? So, until next time, see you.